This allows me to utilize the, the PogSmart system to make my bench a, a, a perfect bench for doing edge banding and also a door bench. So I still have the, what I started with, which is basically a, a rip that's about four inches wide with my standard shop made T-track. And I had a, a solid core door. I was getting a little flex on the bottom. The strong back is right against the bottom of the bench and it's stiffening the length that's hanging below. I don't need this to run all the way to the bottom to stiffen it up. So I think in my final version, I'll just cut this off short enough so that it can work all the way around the bench on the ends as well as on the sides. It's also putting a little three-quarter block on the bottom. This just keeps the block when it, when it, if I loosen it up, it won't fall completely off onto the floor. So line it up with a bench dog hole. And then I'm using these power locks. I can space it down the bench. If I'm doing a door, for example, I put it all the way down here on the end. And all I have to do is slide in the material or the door, it doesn't matter if it's a big long door or a long panel, just slide it in enough into the clamp to squeeze it back in. But of course, the, the uh, panel supports are pushing the material away from the bench by that 18 millimeters. So I just grab a scrap piece of 18 and drop it in to the clamp so it's against the bench. And then I can slide in my material and just lock it down. And that's it. So now, if I have a stack of 20 of these, they can be stacked here on the bench. Pull one, drop it in, lock it off, and now it's held firmly in place for me to completely finish my edge banding. Once you got your iron heated, then the next thing is to uh, line it up and just a quick kind of tack, then a nice firm push and a little bit slower, but keeping it flat on there. You can use a block of wood for this as well. You don't have to have a special made roller. What I would recommend though is tools for cutting the edges, you know, cutting the end off. So I've got these flat pliers that are made specifically for edge banding. They've got a flat edge on them. Double edge cutter that'll cut uh, both edges at the same time. Sanding block just to take those, those edges off. Or if you've got one of these from FastCap, that does both edges at once. I really like, they've got short ones and long ones. I like these long ones. And then I go on and grab the next one. And so you can see how quickly I could go through and do all of those narrow panels. And then when I get to doing, say all the, the side, lower the blocks down, squeeze the panel in just a little bit, just so it doesn't move. And on to the next panel. Uh, not only doing edge banding, that's pretty straightforward, but actually uh, working on some doors. It'll be really nice to be able to, uh, you know, just clamp the doors right in and mortising of hinges and things like that. If you do want to get a set of plans, say for the workbench or the station or any of the other Pulk Smart tools, there is a link in the description of this video down below where you can go and, and uh, purchase the plans and to download them right then. So you get a receipt and there's a code or a link. Click on that link, you go and download them. And when you download them, it's, it's not like you're going to a website and looking at them. There's some confusion sometimes about that. It, you're, you're actually getting a PDF on your computer or on your device. So you don't need to download it again. Um, there, there's a limit of two downloads and that's only because we obviously are paying a company to provide that and they charge us per download so we had to come up with so we did two one was all you need and the second one was just sort of a backup if something corrupted or or happened but if if uh, you do go and use both downloads and you don't get it for whatever reason or you lose it you get a new computer don't worry about it you just contact us and we'll We'll uh, uh, send you a copy. We'll email you a copy. So you, once you uh, buy the plans, you always have access to them, and you can print them as many times as you want, as long as they're for personal use. If you like these woodworking tips, if you've learned anything, if you'd like to see me make more, then the first and most important thing you can do is right there. There's a thumbs up button. It's really painless. Just tap that, and. Also, if you want to join the Smart Woodshop family, you can subscribe. 
But when you subscribe, I think it's pretty important to ring the bell because that way YouTube will let you know when we put up a new video. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.